Let's rest. How far is it? Not far. I looked around and saw whatever there was to see. Pines and fences, weeds and grass, fields and a footpath, the air, all glistening in the sun, yet black, the blackness of trees, the greyness of the soil, the earthy green of plants, everything rather black. My companion turned into the bushes. It's cooler here. Let's go on. Wait a minute. Let's sit down a while. He ventured deeper into the bushes. I ventured with my gaze into the trees. Blotches of light, slants, bends, curves, devil knows what. I felt the ground below. Black and bare. There was something stuck between the trees, something that was different and strange. And this is what my companion was also watching. A sparrow. Ah! It was a sparrow. A sparrow hanging on a piece of wire. Hanged its little head to one side, its beak wide open. It was hanging on a thin wire hooked over a branch. Remarkable, a hanged bird. Who hanged it? Why? For what reason? My thoughts were entangled in a million combinations. The jolting train ride, the night filled with the rumble of the train, lack of sleep, the air, the sun, the march here with my companion. And there was my mother, the mess with the letter, the way I had cold-shouldered my father. Sweat, heels, pant legs, pebbles, leaves, all of it suddenly fell down in front of the bird. Who could have hanged it? Some kid? No, it's too high up. Let's go. Thank you.